Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome back to our full trading company. So, we've done every single faction now. Um, there are a couple other things to do. We know we can check out the multiplayer sometime, and hopefully that will be coming to the channel soon. Or already has, depending on when you're watching this. Um, there is also a campaign mode. People keep asking me to look at the campaign mode. The campaign was really limited, however. It, it just reduces the number of buildings you can build. It's, it's just a lesser form of skirmish. As I said in my review, I don't really find it, you know, the most amazing thing to do. But uh, we'll just do some more, you know, skirmish modes. Because I like the skirmish modes. I think people like the skirmish modes enough. Maybe at some point we will try campaign just so that I can go, yeah, see, it isn't that amazing. Maybe it's something to do when you're fed up of skirmish and you've had enough of skirmish. But it's not the best thing in the world. Um, we probably will play it eventually. Uh, one thing I will say, by the way, is that there's actually a lack of music inside the game itself. Particularly in the game. So I'm actually going to do something particularly odd with that complaint. I'm going to turn the music to zero. Um, that means that instead of playing, like, the odd song now and again at the very beginning of, uh, you know, the game, we're actually going to just insert some music. So any music you hear from now on is not the game's music. I'm just going to put music over the back, because I kind of like how music in the background is nice. It fills up the sort of the, the blank slots where I'm not talking and the game isn't doing a sound effect. I think there needs to be something there. So we're going to do a quick play. Hmm... We could go up to f See, I like the idea of going up to five players. The problem is I don't think we have a map large enough. If we go from medium, we have to go up to large. And I'm kind of feeling that since you can put a lot of people on, you can put, I think, eight, because you've got to include yourself. Uh, large is sort of a five. And if we go up to, you know, four AI, it might get a little bit crowded on a small map, might get a bit too, you know, busy on a larger map. I think we'll do one more, one more mission with a normal sort of three AI type dealie. And this time, we'll just try and do some more advanced tactics and so on. We'll try and focus on improving some of the areas of the game that I'm currently lacking in. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do a normal map. And then I think next time, we'll start changing up. We'll start doing some cool other things. So let's play the game. So a couple of things I need to work on are... I need to pause the game less, get ready, ready for multiplayer, get used to that. I'm pausing at the beginning now just so I can talk. Uh, and also, I need to sort of get better about trading commodities. So just buying stuff whenever it's going down in price and then... Sorry, whenever it's going up in price or selling stuff when it's going down in price, etc. And then just rebuy it uh, if need be. That way you're just basically making three money. Anyway, uh, I'm actually going to do this unpaused. Low levels if possible. Of silicon found. Oh my god, what's this? Probably water. High levels of no. aluminum found. Okay, good starting location for aluminum. Aluminium, goddamn. Wow, a lot of aluminium. This map is not about the aluminium. Come on. Scan. Oh my god, this can be so annoying to click sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't want to register my clicks. Water? Low levels of water found. High levels of water found. Low levels of carbon found. Oh, I need more scans. I need iron. Oh, there's a crap ton of water. That's going to be water. Carbon. You tend to find carbon inside Low craters. There we go, iron. Found. And I need to scan this, and then I we'll think we'll pause and we'll talk about our starting location. More aluminium. Oh my god, there's so much aluminium on this map. This is a ridiculous map. Look at all the aluminium. So the way it's working currently is we've got a suitable amount of water. Not crazy. Not crazy. Certainly not the, uh, the crazy amounts of maybe the last map or whatever. This is probably going to be water as well, so, you know, not drastically badly off for that one. Um, it's probably a map where you want to start on aluminium. Uh, that makes me almost think robotic. Now, the downside of robotic, though, is you don't get to trade in all this stuff like water, etc. And, you know, that's the reason about water. But you also don't get to, you know, really have the bonuses that you get from other people. You don't get, say, the 50% less steel, which would be useful with a limited amount of iron. It does like, look like we've got a limited amount of iron. Scavenger, you're relying on carbon, and frankly, there isn't a lot of carbon. You've got, you know, a little bit here. That, that one might be a two or something, but there's still a limited amount of carbon, limited amount of carbon here. Scavengers tend to do fairly well, and using the black market more frequently is certainly a lovely bonus, but... I, I, can't, I can't see them being amazing on this map. Not unless you lock down, like, two carbon very early on. And especially since steel looks like it might be a, you know, worth trading commodity. I'm going to pause for a little bit and I'm going to have another couple of scans. Oh, I need to scan this. I need to scan this. Okay, so scavengers are down. I think this is the point where we have to go down whether we like it or not. Now, we could trade in iron. 
I don't think Iron's great. I'm thinking it's Scavenger, despite the fact that I said, you know, it's not the best thing. I think it's Scavenger. And we'll go somewhere like... Here. We'll get some carbon here. I mean, the early aluminium is, as a scavenger is what you want, right? We can get 90 there. We can attach the aluminium to our base. Or we could go there. And just go here. So, I'm playing the scavenger. And that means I instantly want to get a... Aluminium quarry. I should probably unpause. And... Uh, carbon. There's no dry ice on this map, is there? No. Carbon it is. Hello, nearby carbon. I need more, though. And that is a two there. Oh, and there's a two there. And a two there. And a one here. Yeah, but I want them next to each other. What's this? Scientific colony founded. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Three scavengers. Everyone correctly identified the massive lack of iron on this map. Ouch. What's all this? Water. Okay. Oh, is this iron? Hi, iron. Well, there's plenty of iron then. Levels of iron found. Where can we upgrade? Need a lot of carbon. Yeah, this is a this is a map where actually scientific would be good. Looking at this in hindsight and having knowing that this is here, I'd go scientific because large, low levels of water, large, low levels of iron, allowing you easy steel. Frankly, it's a you know really good situation. So once we get the carbon on board, I think we should be good to upgrade. Our first thing after upgrading will be to try and lock down our utilities and stuff. Maybe even get the geothermal if we can. This is getting nice regular shipments of carbon, because we've got two next to each other. That'll help nicely. I might go for chems during this, because you get carbon as a scavenger anyway. Here we go, here's our upgrade. I'm going to wait for an extra shipment so we don't spend the money. And then it'll be a geothermal. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Yeah. I'll go for this. I'll bid five. I won't go higher than five. No. No, no, no. Miss Espionage is going to be the one to watch. I think an early bit of uh, money into Miss Espionage is probably going to be good for us. There's an upgrade. We'll need carbon for that. Um, in the meantime... The black market is online. Let's start getting some water. And start stockpiling some fuel. I'm going to go here, just to block off the aluminium from anyone else, and start making our way towards this, because we want to put a geothermal down there. Great. Lovely debt. Can't wait till we can get a geothermal. I'm watching. This is why I'm zoomed out, by the way. I'm watching for anyone else trying to fly a geothermal over. Because of the proximity, we can basically cut them off. And I could always sell something to make it. These shipments of carbon coming in should be able to uh, allow us to grab it nice and quick. Yeah, this should be it. This should be our geothermal. No one else is selling the ge uh, sending a geothermal. Not selling a geothermal. Sending a geothermal. Um... Bam. Actually, how much would that cost? Tiny bit of money? Probably save that much by being built slightly earlier. Okay, so we'll send that. That should allow us to play the power game early on. I do actually like playing the power game early on. I think on this map it's probably going to be beneficial, but people will start getting down... Uh, oh, really? Solar panels already? They will start putting down a couple of these geothermals. Might even go for a second one, honestly. Just get money in the early game from that. Food's cheap currently.
Right. Wait until the last shipment comes in. But getting a second geothermal also means no one can shut down our geothermal. Right. Now, we're really focusing on just expanding the base now. I mean, yes, we need glass, etc. That's going to be tough on a, a map lacking in uh, silicate. Hopefully, we'll be able to grab the silicon nearby. If we can get five grand, that'd be lovely. Day is going down. An acceptable pace. Once this is online, that'll be going down even faster. If we can then shut down. Ah, uh, no. No, I don't really need that. We can shut down people's solar panels. But it's about to be nighttime, so that'll cause a price spike anyway. Eight thousand. Wow, yeah, I'm not going for that. So Okay. Glass is gonna cost us a lot of money anyway. But fine. Price of Oh, it's nighttime, price of uh Power is going up. Yep, there we go. And as soon as it gets to day, we'll uh, EMP them. There's no uh, geothermal there yet. Another solar panel. Huh. Okay. Keep that up. Here we go. When it gets to daytime, EMP, keep the price up. It's worth it. We'll make more money than uh, the EMP will. Ooh, shortage. What does this mean? This means that it's going to about to go up in price. So we sell. No, we sell at the high price. Yes. Ready. Shorting again? Okay. There we go. And excellent. Right. So price is going up, price is going up, price is going up. We can upgrade. Not I problem. will. We'll have this done in a jiffy. I just need to locate some the spare parts. market is online. Right, someone just sold. There we go. Early bit of that. Early extra claim. I know it's only 10 grand and I missed out on the slightly better one earlier, but okay. It doesn't matter. Um, silicon. Definitely need to get some of the early silicon because there is a lack of silicon on this map. So, you for the silicon. Get an extra water. Get an extra electrolysis. Get a food. No. Chems. We really do need to do the chems. Is online. It's not really going to be worth going for power now. Surplus of fuel. Sell it. Buy it back later. There we go. Claim. Sure. I'll bid up to like 10. I just bid myself. My Eight, god's sake. That's just a waste of money. Ten, thousand. Two. One. So. Cool. I wanted that so that I can become self-sufficient in terms of food. Not the two. Block off the two from use. And then I also want to be able to get maybe my first uh, chem lab down. Start on those chems. And I could go hackers very early on. Oi! That's just mean. Where's my deck coming from? What? I'm self sufficient. Oh, there's an occasional bit of food here and there. Really? Okay. <sighs> Steel's the most valuable already in the game. That was fairly predictable. I need to blow something up of someone's, just to slow them down. 
And look at Mrs. Espionage. I did predict that they'd start accelerating. You've got a couple of steel mills here. Problem is, if I zap your steel mill, it'll just increase the price of steel. It'll actually make you fairly well off. Nuking your aluminium mill? That might be a good idea. Put this underground nuke. Surplus of carbon, sell it, buy it back at a lower price. There we go. Right. I do want to build a painting office. And I'll build it... Yeah. The black market is online. If I mutiny steel production, we could just sell the steel. And it would slow down their steel. Ah, no. Ah, we need iron. We would need iron. That's a silly thing. Ah, we need iron. What else can we do? I've been talking about power surge. Huh. Well, let's slow down these guys with lack of water. They slow down. Oh, they got rid of my water. At least I got their water now. But yeah, that's going to cost us. Scientific colony expanded. Wow, sci yeah, science really are accelerating. Oh, the black yep, there we go. Look at that steel. Online. Units powered with water? I've got plenty of power already at the moment. Energy surplus? Yeah. Four, Teleportation? Six, I'd love that. Thousand, twelve, thousand. Saves me fuel. 14, I need save fuel. Thousand, if I'm going to go chems, I need to save 16, fuel. Thousand, it's an expensive play, but I am fairly self-sufficient at the moment. Sold. I want to save up for slant drilling if possible. That save us so much fuel. It's going to be so worth it. Let this be a lesson to you all. Screw with us, and we screw with you. Right, what do you use? Use oxygen, silicon to make glass. Yep, cool. I'll go for that. I need more planes. Oh, okay. What I want is protection from things next to my... Yeah, thinking machines, really. Slant drilling and thinking machines are good. I'll get slant drilling. And then it's thinking machines. There we go. Maybe we cancel that. Since we're going to have more things, we'll just get thinking machines as soon as it's available. Need glass. Really? Just glass? Okay. What can we sell to get that glass? I don't know. How much does it cost? No, we're, we're, we are making money. No, we're not. We're costing money? We're costing money. Because of the throws and things. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I will sell some aluminium since it's cheap. Oh, ready to sell the oxygen? Come on, a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Nearly, there we go. You can upgrade now. We'll have this done in a jiffy. I just need to locate some spare parts. Water was tugged about a grand new. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for another food, I think. We will need a glass. Probably put the glass over here or something. Um, actually, we could go here with glass. Chain it out. That's going to be three cam. Oh, we can put glass here. Nanotech. Recycle resources when scrap and build. I can't afford to bid for it. My debt's already way too high. I'll buy another one of you. I mean, I could buy the cheaper person, but I'm already in for who? For who? For her. 
Sold. Going electronics as well. I've got a lot of aluminium. I've got carbon. It costs silicon. Well, as soon as that glass is up and running, we're going to be out of silicon. So, play to that. Play another chem. Uh, that'll need me to get more oxygen and stuff. Paint the lab. Can we afford it? Yep. Yes. Go. Ah, god damn it. I think we might need to put a, uh, a defense up against it. That's 10 grand, though. Have you got a painting lab? No, you don't. Okay, as soon as you get a painting lab, I'm blowing your painting lab up. Um, I could go for Pleasure Dome. It's pure and pure money. I do like the idea of pure and pure money. Energy surplus, yeah. Well, what do we need for our upgrade? We need glass, we need carbon. Carbon's coming in. Glass is eventually going to be coming in. Well, it's, glass. it's actually coming in now. We've got some glass. Not an amazing amount, but got some. I think we play glass now. Scientific it's probably the expanded. best. She's at level 4 already. God damn it. More steel. She's really focusing on her steel. Maybe we shut down her steel. I mean, it'll, it'll skyrocket it in price. But I think it's a sensible play. Bad. Shortage soon. <laughs> it's going to skyrocket again. Great. Just great. Yeah, one of them was defended. Yeah, she's going to pass me in stock price very soon. Hmm... Tricky, tricky, tricky. But we're going to call it here for this episode. I've been Entrilithium. This has been Offworld Trading Company. We've got some decent competition in the way of Miss Espionage. Although we still have the upper hand, although only barely just. The fact that this is actually a fairly good map for science and we didn't go science counts against us, but we're making do. But until next time, if you've liked, remember to like and also subscribe. Please consider subscribing and stay shiny.